Hi Pisces, I'm here for another reading for you today. As always, this is not a personal reading, so just take what resonates, leave what doesn't for the next person. I'm going to try to project my voice. I have a sore throat, so please excuse my sore throat. I hope that you are all well. If you would like a one-on-one -on -one personal reading, a one-on-one -on -one session with me, an Akashic Record session to dive into your past life energies or anything else, check out the box below. It does have all the information it is that you will need. Feel free to email me. We also do have the Sacred Tarot course to learn how to read tarot for four weeks and taking the fool's journey. So feel free to check that out. It starts this coming week. We're going to get right to your reading today, Pisces. If my energy or my readings resonate with you, feel free to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you can know when the next reading does come out. And what's just coming up as like a message right away, Pisces, and I said people, and that's actually what it's about. There's a particular way that people perceive you. This could be what the reading's about, but it's like something about the way it is that people perceive you, Pisces. You have angelic assistance, divine guidance, and loving support. What do we have for the Pisces today for their highest good and for the highest good of all? Building your world, the garden. I feel like you're getting a lot of support, Pisces, in networking, expanding, and again, building your world. Could be like a lot of collaboration energy. You could also like be working on a project or just some sort of expansion in your life. You have divine guidance and loving support, angelic assistance. For some of you, there's like some sort of feminine spirit guide that helps you. I'm just seeing like a lot of wings, like even the song Pretty Wings by Maxwell, but like this feminine, like of course, you know, it could be like an angel, but then again, like angels don't always, they're not always like this with wings. I'm even getting, it's like for some of you, there's some sort of seraphim, uh, seraphim energy maybe that you work with, like specifically like seraphims. So take that as it resonates, which they're the angels that have a bunch of eyes and things like that. Maybe some of you saw it like in a dream or just in general or like in a trance like state. But you have building your world here, okay? What do we have for building your world and angelic assistance? Growth. You have seek a mentor or a guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. I feel like you're meeting a lot of people, Pisces. Uh, you do have the number 33 and 6, so the number 6 can mean something to you. 6 is also a number of union, okay? Um, 6 is the lover's card in the tarot. We also have the 6-6 six, six portal. And you have freedom. Live wild and free. Choose your freedom. Claim your independence. So I feel like you're meeting a bunch of different people here, Pisces. For some of you, this could be mentors or guides as well. And you do have divine guidance. So for some of you, if you are thinking, and you have leadership here, this could be you, Pisces, um, also, like if you're thinking of seeking out guidance from someone, I do feel like it's divine guidance and it's loving support. Um, for some of you, you can't do this alone. Whatever it is that you're doing, you either need help doing it or there's someone that's going to guide you through this process for you. Um, and so whoever I think it is, maybe that you are reaching out to, that you're being led to go to, it's divine guidance and it's loving support. What do we have for growth, building your world, and angelic assistance? You have held, temple of the rose, sureness of the soil, unseen help, support, community. Okay, unseen help. For some of you, this is like angelic assistance. Others of you, I feel like your angels, your guides are really bringing people or someone into your energetic field that's meant to help you, that's meant to hold you, support you, community. Okay, this could be multiple people. And then for some of you, um, there is some sort of guide that's going to come into your life. What's the final opening message for Pisces? Wow, there's literally three different decks that say guide. Okay, so one, two, three, four actually. Caretaker, guardian, support. Returning home, okay. This person's really going to help you. Again, this is like angelic assistance or your angels are sending someone to you that is meant to help you on your journey. They're meant to be a caretaker, some sort of guardian or support for you because we have support more than once here. All right, let's see what this is, Pisces. Divine Mother and Father, what do we have for angelic assistance, building your world, 
held Dawn Watcher and growth. Like, yeah, four different decks that are saying support. One, two, three, four. You're so supported, Pisces. What do we have for Pisces in this reading on support? The support it is that Pisces is receiving. For some of you, the support is coming at a time where you're really in your head. Yeah, seven of wands. It feels like this, again, like if you've been praying to your angels, your guides, and I'm looking at an angel over there too. If you've been praying to your angels, this person is coming in to like protect you in this time of maybe anxiety or being in your head. You have the ten of wands. Okay, so there could be maybe a lot going on in your life. And this person is coming in at a time of your life where there's a lot going on. And they're meant to guide you uh, or just to support you. Why the Nine of Swords with Ten of Wands for Pisces? Temperance card, um, which in the regular tarot deck, the Rider Waite rather, there's no regular. But you have the Temperance over here. It's usually an angel. So it feels like you're angels or it's like someone's coming in as like an earth angel in some way, shape or form. Uh, or multiple people. To help bring you to a balance, okay? I'm almost seeing like someone like out in war where it's like they arrived somewhere. It's like maybe you have a past life of like being like a warrior and like you're like thirsty and hungry and it's like some, I'm seeing like a nurse, like a nurse that comes and like aids you. Some of you can resonate with that. Um, why the temperance card here for the nine of swords and the ten of wands? Four of wands. This person is meant to bring you to a celebration, okay? You have the four of wands here. This person is meant to bring balance into your life. And from there, you're going to be in some sort of joyous celebration. There is dragonflies on here. The color blue can also mean something to you or like the renaissance. Why the four of wands with the temperance card? You have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and then the World card. Who is this King of Pentacles? Strength. Um, it's a Leo energy, the Strength card. Um, there's someone that comes in here, Pisces. This could be, again, the King of Pentacles also is an energy of a lot of support. Okay, this could be a masculine energy, or this person has a lot of like support, maybe grounded support, like even material thing, things like that. Or this person's very protective because you have the Strength card, the Lion. It's a very powerful energy, this energy, and they're coming in to support you. Why the King of Pentacles with Strength? You have the Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here with the Strength and King of Pentacles? Why the Two of Swords with the Devil in Reverse? This person over here, and why do we have the Five of Pentacles with the Two of Swords? You have the death card with the nine of wands. The devil card is in reverse, though. And then you have the two of swords, five of pentacles, and the death card. Why the devil card in reverse? This person is very powerful. You have the hermit card. Like, it's like a wise person. You have the ace of wands. Why the two of swords? Did that fall face up? Why the two of swords here? Did that fall face up again? Ooh, this is very powerful energy, Pisces. If this is you or like someone else, why the Five of Pentacles? Why the Death card? The Empress is actually this energy. Or, so we have an Empress here. This is very powerful here. There's actually an outside energy source, and that is what's causing this in your life. You are in this Nine of Swords, Ten of Wands. It feels like there's like an outside energy source, though. And it's like this person comes in and actually like destroys it. You have the Devil in Reverse, the Two of Swords, Five of Pentacles, and the Death card. This person destroys what it is that you don't see. The Devil card in Reverse with the Ace of Wands. And then you have the Seven of Wands with the Two of Swords. Whatever you don't see, this person sees. It could be the Empress here, or it could be the King of Pentacles. Um, yeah, and so there's this energy here, Pisces. But it's either you or this other person. This is a very protective energy. And like the sun is coming out and beaming like really hot. Um, for some of you, you have like the gift of fire. Because I did get Seraphim energy and like really hot and like sweating right now. Um, and I mean, it is a, like a, a green room, but 
Some of you have a gift of fire. You have the Ace of Wands with the Devil in reverse. This is holy fire. It's either you or this other person have the gift of holy fire. Again, it's that seraphim though energy. Like the seraphim angels are angels of fire, 1010. And so this person comes into your life. And like, yes, you're going through things, Pisces, but I do feel like on some sort of multi-dimensional level, there is some sort of energy that's causing this Nine of Swords and Ten of Wands. This person comes into your life and it feels like there's some sort of protection or clearing. Okay, why the Empress with the Death card? The Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel Turns. And I was actually, and the Ace of Swords. This is very, very powerful energy. You have the Wheel of Fortune. And I was actually just reading about the Wheel of Fortune yesterday when it comes to the four faces of God. Why the Wheel of Fortune? Why the Wheel of Fortune? Why the Ace of Cups with the Three of Swords? And what is this Three of Swords? Three of Pentacles. You have the Two of Wands after the Ace of Cups. For the Three of Swords, you have the Eight of Cups in reverse. There's something it is that you did not walk away from. Why the Eight of Cups in reverse with the Three of Swords? The World card. There's something that's like kind of being renewed here that you did not walk away from. Ace of Cups, the Two of Wands. We're going to clarify all of this. Why the Ace of Cups? Knight of Swords. Why the Two of Wands? There's something coming in over here, Pisces. There's some need to not walk away from something over here. Something could have hurt you in the past, or there's maybe some sort of pain. That there's a need for you to not walk away from that. There's some sort of pain or betrayal, Three of Swords energy. There's some need for you to actually not walk away from it because things actually shift for you. Like there's a need for you to be patient. Because yes, there's a Three of Swords energy here, but you don't actually walk away from it. And that's actually how you receive something. Ace of Cups with the Knight of Swords over here. And you have the World card to clarify the Three of Swords and the Eight of Cups in reverse. There's a need for you to be patient in the feeling of some sort of grief, pain, or heartbreak. Because things are actually going to shift. The number 444 can also mean something to you. What is this world card? What is this world card? Pisces, be patient, actually. And just surrender. You're in some sort of pain. This could be past, present, or future. There's a three of swords energy here. There's a need for you to not walk away from how this feels or from what this is. Because this is actually going to be like renewed in some way, shape, or form. The Tower card is like this beautiful stability that comes in for you. For some of you, it's just facing whatever this Three of Swords is. Maybe it's a person, maybe it's a betrayal, past hurt, uh, maybe it's like past traumas and things like that. There's a need for you to not actually walk away from it because, and to have some sort of patience with, with it. It's like sitting with it because something's coming in over here. It's like some sort of sudden stability with the Nine of Pentacles. You have the Tower card, so there's some sort of sudden stability that comes in. And you have the Hangman. And so, be patient. Be in a surrender. Don't actually run away from how this feels. Sit with it. Because there's something beautiful coming in for you. Why the Eight of Wands? There's a new connection coming in for you. You have the Two of Cups, or it could just be a person. You have the Two of Cups. Why the Two of Cups here? Pisces, there's someone coming in for you here. Two different things. Either this person has hurt you in the past, which again, that's like... I'm very open about that. When it comes to those tarot readings, like, no, don't keep going back to who hurt you. No, like, don't wait forever for someone. Um, or, but what this could be, Pisces too, is just some sort of grief or heartbreak that you're going through or that you have that you just need to face and sit with it. Like, don't run from it. There's like a lot of pain in your heart, 144. There's a lot in the heart chakra. Betrayal, grief, and pain. Don't run away from it. Don't walk away from it. Don't numb it. Don't try to like, oh, why do I feel this way? Just feel it. 
because something great is coming in for you. This is very stable with the Knight of Pentacles. Two of Wands, it might actually be something new or renewed in some way, shape, or form. You have the Six of Wands, you have the Page of Wands, okay? There's someone coming in over here. You do have the Two of Cups. Um, it could feel like a younger energy with the Page of Wands. What is this Page of Wands? You have the Page of Swords in reverse and you have the Five of Wands. Why the Page of Swords in Reverse? Why the Page of Swords in Reverse? Pisces, there's someone coming into your life. It's either your angels or someone coming into your life that they're coming into your life actually when you're going through a lot. 555 five, five, as I say that. I feel like even like psychic attacks type of thing, you have the Nine of Swords with the Ten of Wands. Yes, there may be things going on without of you. I do also, though, get the energy of psychic attacks and stuff like that. You have Judgment with the Six of Swords. There's a Page of Swords energy in reverse over here with the Five of Wands. Someone tried to come for you, in a sense. And this is either angelic help or someone that comes into your life that like, again, like for some of you, they may see it, what you don't. Judgment with the Six of Swords. And the judgment is that you're walking away from this Five of Wands. You're not even going to see this. Someone tried to come for you in some way, shape, or form. This was a page energy. You're having triumph over that though. This person was like in kind of like delusion in a sense, like they were fighting themselves. 707 as I say that, this person was fighting themselves. Like they in their head, again, this is either an energy or like a person, like in their head, really like I'm gonna go for Pisces, you know, or like whatever it is. This whole conflict was in their head. It was like, borderline delusional this person was like ready in a sense but that's why the judgment is that you're coming to calm waters and you have a six of wands over here it was a page with the page of wands and the page of swords like it felt like they were like ready for some sort of battle in some sense some sort of conflict and there was never anything to begin with. Can I have more on this Five of Wands? Seven of Swords, Justice. Seven of Swords, Energy. This is like sneakiness. This person was like fighting themselves. Again, projecting onto you, which again, Pisces, you're so sensitive. You could maybe feel it in some way, shape, or form. This person in their head, like, thought that they were doing something smart. 33 seconds as I say that. They thought that they were being smart. And there's, like, this quote that's, like, they talk about checkers and chess, right? People think that they're playing chess, but you weren't even playing. It's, like, that kind of thing where it's, like, someone thought that they were doing something. I don't know what. They thought that like there was some sort of conflict between you two or some sort of reason to have a conflict, but there really actually wasn't. And you're coming out of this, 6-6, six, six, you're coming out of this and you have a lot of support in every single time, space, and dimension. You know, like you're not one to mess with in this reading because you will get unseen help. You will also get seen help. Like, you're very protected, Pisces. And the judgment is the Six of Swords. Why the judgment and Six of Swords? Why the judgment and Six of Swords? What's the Queen of Pentacles? What is the Queen of Pentacles? Why the Six of Cups with the Hangman?
What they meant for harm, I will use for the good. This energy that was somehow sent to you, maybe projected onto you. Again, it's like even when people get into these energies, like you can feel it. This was transmuted to your highest good. You know, and that's why it's like, again, like uh, this person was kind of fighting themselves. It was a little bit borderline delusional. Like there was just something that they felt was truly a conflict between you and, and them. Again, energy, person, whatever that this means, but there really wasn't anything actually. And so this is being transmuted to your highest good. You have the magician, the, the chariot, the queen of pentacles. The hangman, surrender, six of cups, the emperor. There's This is actually being transmuted to money for you, to work for you. Also, some of you are receiving someone coming into your life because of this. In a sense. It's not because of that, right? But it's like all of this energy is being transmuted to your highest good. It's not going to prosper and it transmutes to your highest good. The, that's... That, be still with the surrender card, the hanged man. Just be still. You do have the emperor. You have the empress here. What's the six of cups and the emperor? You have the king of wands in reverse. There is no Sagittarius. Why the king of wands in reverse? Knight of pentacles. Why the king of wands in reverse with the knight of pentacles? Four of pentacles. For some of you to be wary of like some sort of king of wands over here. Why is the king of wands in reverse? Queen of cups. I feel like there's another energy here, Pisces, that kind of wants to balance things out with you. You have the six of cups and the emperor. Okay, someone might want to like balance things with you. King of Wands, you do have the Queen of Cups, that's your energy. King of Wands in reverse, Knight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, but they might have been also too slow. Over here, you have the Four of Pentacles. I feel like maybe holding on to some sort of maybe grudge. Why the Knight of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles? Nine of Wands still holding on, High Priestess. Um, but there is a need to let go over here. Why? Okay, clarify the Queen of Cups. Clarify the Queen of Cups. There's a need for you to, bottom of the deck is the King of Swords. Could have involved more than one person, Pisces. You have the Four of Cups. I feel like you didn't even see this though. Four of Cups, Eight of Swords, the Three of Cups. Why the Eight of Swords? You didn't see this, but you are going to. The moon card. The moon card and the ace of swords. New moon and Gemini is a lot of truth. For some of you, it's been your protection to not see certain things at certain times. Why is the three of cups here for Pisces? Good things are coming your way, though, Pisces. You have the knight of cups. Why the knight of cups with the three of cups? Justice. Good things are coming your way. For some of you, there has been information withheld from you. Um... With due reason, I feel like there's certain things that like you just didn't even need to know. Nine of Cups is celebration with justice. You're getting justice from this. Um, there's a fire sign like Aries energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. That's not supposed to come into your life. You have the Knight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Like, this could be energetic as well. You were kind of blinded, though, to this or bound to this in some sort of way, shape or form. And you're being freed from this. Why the four of cups for Pisces? The lover's card. OK, this could have to do with a past relationship. Yeah, five of swords. This could have to do with a past relationship. Um, you're being freed from this. I do also feel like you're gaining more information about this. And it's like, oh, OK, you know, and I feel like some of this information you were not supposed to know in the past. Now, you know, I feel like you're becoming aware of what this full truth was but your justice is three of cups your justice is that beautiful things are coming your way all right pisces uh the 
definitely multiple people involved. What's a card of advice for Pisces? There's a need for you to be in your power, Pisces. You have the High Priestess over here with the Queen of Wands. There's a need for you to be in your power, for you to remember who you are. Why the Queen of Wands with the High Priestess? Three of Wands, remember who you are, okay? Two of Pentacles, karmic debts. Um, there's a lot of things that are balancing right now in your life, Pisces. You have the Three of Wands, you may... You're being taken away from this. I feel like this is going to be very separate from you. 33 seconds. For some of you, you may be traveling. Or this is just some sort of separation, okay? There is, though, a need for you to be in your power with the Queen of Wands. And again, there goes that fire. For some of you, Pisces, you have a gift of, like, holy fire. All right. There's a need for you to use your intuition with the High Priestess. That's what I have for you. If you would like a one-on-one -on -one personal reading, a one-on-one -on -one personal session... If you'd like to join our Sacred Tarot course that starts this week or get an Akashic Record session for past life regression, feel free to check out the box below. It has my email. I am checking my email today. I've been, I've had a head cold clearing. You are receiving so much help, Pisces. God doesn't play about you. Like, God does not play about you. I have chills, too. And, like, I mean, it's hot. Like, I'm literally sweating. I don't know if it shows. I'm sweating. God doesn't. Like, it makes me want to cry. God doesn't play about you. For some of this, this was such projection. And it's like, again, like Pisces, you have the mirror effect. People don't always see you. And so people just see a mirror of their own subconscious around you towards you a lot of this was like things that people created in their head and then it creates energy and then other people get involved and then the energy is sent to you and then there's psychic attack 707 god does not play about you the ancestors don't play about you the people who love you like the earth angels in physical form they don't play about you your angels don't play about you god which everything is just, we talk about all these different things. It all just goes to source. Does not play about you. You have the dolphin collar. Pure, joyful friendships and loving help. Loving help. You have help literally in four to five different decks. Literally five different decks at this point here. You have the word help or support. What else? I'm going to go to another deck. For the Pisces. What else do we have as closing messages? And the number six, okay? So the number six could definitely mean something to you. It's also a card of union. Union with your higher self. I do feel like you're meeting people. What do we have for Pisces? You have twin flames. Soul partner, eternal connection. And the number six is the number of union, okay? So we talk about twin flames, right? And I'm very open on this channel that twin flame is not someone without a view. The twin flame journey is your own union of your inner masculine and feminine. Is there a twin flame without of you? You know, I do feel like there's not one person that's your twin flame. 28, 28, as I say that. Um, you can find people who may be in that twin flame energy. And I feel like, again, it's all free will. Someone who vibrates wherever you are. So you do have twin flame though here soul partner and eternal connection i do just feel like again it's like you're really in union with yourself right now pisces because we have twin flame i'll grab the twin flame deck express yourself and speak your truth processing karmic debris so you're processing karmic debris unification you are aligning with abundance god does not play about you pisces Inner mother, innocence, innocence. Like, I really want to cry in this reading, Pisces, because whatever energy this was, people, again, it could just be energy, these freaking beings or whatever. It could be a person. P energies use people, you know, all these different things. You have this innocence, Pisces, that's, that's here. And it's not that you're innocent and perfect and anything like that, but you have this gentleness, this innocence, and in this type of situation, like this person or people, whatever this was, it really projected onto you. And it really caused like psychic attacks. 
And like, I just want to say that you didn't deserve that. 55 seconds as I say that. Like this, whatever this was or this person was, they're like, it's Pisces. This Pi Pisces, there's a conflict. There's this problem. This, this, this. Like what they were thinking in their head was completely mirrored. And if it wasn't mirrored, this person had an energy that they didn't even know about. Again, like you need to continuously clear. Like you need to continuously clear, especially if you're Pisces, you're very sensitive. Every day, clear. Every day, shield. Do that work continuously. It's not just one retreat. It's not just one sacred medicine. It's not just one meditation. Continuously clearing. And for this type of situation, it was like a little bit of a mirror effect. You have ecstasy, bliss, joy, and belief. Compassion, nurture, and guidance. The mother awakens. The Divine Mother loves you as well. The Divine Mother loves you. The Divine Mother loves everyone. But like you maybe really connect with the Divine Mother or feminine energy, like spirit guide or something. They were mistaken completely. And again, I said borderline delusional, 111 as I say that. We're going to grab just some more cards on this. What else do we have for Pisces? The return of Aphrodite, motherhood, protection inner child and nurture okay you're very protected and it's also a lot of the inner child you know so you could be doing some inner child work as well there's also some sort of like childlike energy about you pisces temple birth of the goddess guidance goddess energy treating as sacred 144 like you received like again, now you received, right? Because we're not in the energy of, oh my God, I'm being attacked and this, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Like, who cares? But like, these things happen. We're in this realm. It, it, things happen. It's going to happen. These things exist. You're in your goddess energy or God energy, though. You are. You are the temple. You're going through a rebirth. And that you're getting justice in the form and you're getting justice in multiple forms there are a lot of good things coming into your life because that was unjust to 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 as i say that this person like their ego again they were mirroring whatever that this was it was them 32 32 it actually wasn't you and what else do we have for pisces as a final message Spirit guides, begin writing now. Create, express, inspire. For some of you, you want to write a book. You're called to write a book, something like that. You, It's also begin writing. Whatever that means to you, 33 minutes as I say this, start writing now. You're being led to. Spirit guides, insight, guidance, purpose. You're receiving so much guidance. For some of you, you are receiving these earth angels. Uh, seeking out a mentor, a guide, whatever that this is. But you're so protected, Pisces. And some people think, like I had a conversation with someone that's not quote-unquote spiritual in that sense. Like they're they're in a particular religion, so, you know. And they're like, uh, well, like I'm always protected no matter what I do, you know. And um, Like Pisces, that there, there was some sort of ego, like just involved with this person or whoever came towards you. And again, not bad. And like, oh, this person has an ego, blah blah blah. Like, it's just like there, there was just something with the ego, whatever that that was. Again, you could have mirrored this person. You're doing what you have to be doing, Pisces. I feel like you were really coming into purpose with the Spirit Guides card. And pay attention to like animals and birds. You know, that's what I have for you, Pisces. This was a very intense reading. And I'm like, I don't know if you could tell that I'm literally dripping in sweat right now. So like for some of you, you it's like the seraphim angel, something, gift of like holy fire, because like I am sweating. Um, but that's what I have for you, Pisces. You have the angel gate, cleansing, protection, and blessing. I love you and I hope that you have a beautiful day.